A college football coach is fired after hazing allegations. Businesses are starting to cut workers' hours. And the Northeast is dealing with historic flooding. I mean, it just went from a little bit of water trickling down our basement an inch or two to all of a sudden this stream just overflowed. I'm Jeff Pierre, and this is The 7 from The Washington Post. It's Tuesday, July 11th. Let's get you caught up with today's seven stories. First up, Sweden took a big step towards joining NATO. Yesterday, Turkey agreed to support Sweden's bid to join the military alliance after a year of blocking it. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg hailed the development. Completing Sweden's accession to NATO is an historic step that benefits the security of all NATO allies at this critical time. It makes us all stronger and safer. The announcement came ahead of a NATO summit in Lithuania, which started this morning. If Sweden joins, it would significantly strengthen NATO's defenses following Russia's invasion of Ukraine last year. Sweden has a robust military and hundreds of miles of coastline along the Baltic Sea, near Russia's western border. Number two, historic and deadly floods are hitting the northeast. At least one person has died and dozens of others have been trapped. Two months' worth of rain fell in Vermont from Sunday into this morning. The floods have washed away some major roads. And upstate New York is still recovering from the flooding over the weekend. Here's Highland resident Robert Rucano talking about how the flooding damaged his home. I mean, it just went from a little bit of water trickling down our basement an inch or two to all of a sudden this stream just overflowed. And it just came down the whole street like a tsunami. It was probably two and a half feet high right here, blasted right down there. It worked, when it turned right down my stairs into the door, just filled up in the well and just started to pour into the basement. Farther south, nearly 50 million Americans face triple-digit temperatures this week. Florida, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, California, and Nevada could all be affected. Warm oceans around Florida are intensifying the state's heat wave, and it could make hurricanes worse this summer. Number three, disgraced sports doctor Larry Nasser was reportedly stabbed in prison. Nasser was attacked by another inmate in a Florida prison on Sunday, according to the Associated Press. He was said to be in stable condition yesterday. Nasser is a former USA Gymnastics and Michigan State University physician convicted of sexually abusing female athletes under his care. He was sentenced to a minimum of 40 years and a maximum of 175 years in prison for his crimes back in 2018. Number four, a college football coach was fired after hazing allegations. Northwestern had suspended coach Pat Fitzgerald on Friday after an investigation revealed hazing on its team. But the student newspaper, The Daily Northwestern, reported over the weekend on more disturbing details of the alleged hazing. Fitzgerald said he had no knowledge whatsoever of the hazing, but was fired by the college on Monday. He had led the team for 17 seasons. Number five. Businesses are starting to cut workers' hours. The number of people who worked part-time but want to work full-time rose by 452,000 last month. This is according to federal data. It was the biggest jump in over three years. This could be an early warning sign for the economy. Economists warn against making too much of a single data point, but say a rise in part-time work is often followed by layoffs. Number six. Popped it up. Got to have one. I don't think he did it. He did not do it. Oh, my. Vlad Guerrero Jr. will hang on and win the 2023 T-Mobile Home Run Derby. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. won his first home run derby last night. The Toronto Blue Jays' first baseman hit 25 homers in the final round. This came 16 years after his father, Vladimir Guerrero, also won the All-Star event. 
It's the first time a father-son pair have won the Derby. The All-Star Game is tonight. The American League has defeated the National League for the last nine years in a row. The game will start at 8 p.m. Eastern and air on Fox. And at number seven, tree-eating mushrooms can help fight wildfires. A century of fire suppression policies in the Rocky Mountains has led to unnaturally dense forests. This has ironically made the forest even more vulnerable to larger, more devastating wildfires. To manage this problem, trees are selectively cut into slash piles. Think of these as piles of sticks. There, they wait to be burned or removed, which can be risky and expensive. But there's a potential new solution. Spraying the piles with native fungi, which decompose the piles into nutrient-rich soil. This could be a faster, more sustainable way to manage forests and lessen the intensity of future fires. You're all caught up for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the show. I'm Jeff Pierre, and I will meet you back here tomorrow. <laughs>